What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. So, yeah, we're at a sports event as you guys can see down there. And yeah, I'm about to go support my niece. I'll catch you guys when her, her sports event is done. With my niece, I'm about to interview her. She just finished playing sports. Here she is. So how was how was how was today? How was the night today? Uh, it was fine, but we lost. Yeah, unfortunately they lost, but not like a huge margin, just a slight margin, right? Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she plays what other sports do you play besides netball? Today they were playing netball. What other sports do you play? I do swimming, I do hockey, I do athletics, and that's all. Yeah, she plays a lot of sports. Like, I was probably like a lazy person when I was back in primary school. I only played soccer, I think. But she's doing so many sports. And yeah, we're proud of you, Thank you. I know she she she's even She's simply ran. What about Stroll 35 Rand? Guys, I didn't even know. I didn't even think that they would have like a tech shop open on Saturday. I don't really place with this an expensive order. But yeah, it's one of those times I took an L. I should have just I should have just walked around first before like buying food. Alright guys, back home. I bought a bottle here. Oh not a bottle, you scoop. So this morning, right, before a little trip, literally my car <laughs> ran out of fuel. I guess it was raining crazy and the car ran out of fuel. So now I need to convince the guys in the garage that I'm not trying to burn anything, but I need fuel in the car. Like I'm parked outside. I'm about to go out and go. So anyway, the topic of today's video, right, is starting a YouTube channel. So when I started my channel, I didn't have like anyone to like explain to me like how the thumbnails and stuff like that work like with my, my thumbnails I still kind of suck with thumbnails but now I've learned so much um, in, in starting the channel so I get a lot of questions like oh man how do you start a channel like what are you supposed to look out for and there's three key things that I want to mention which you need to look out for when starting a channel the first thing is you need to be relevant with your audience all right guys so before starting a channel, you need to think about the people that you want to impact, right? You need to think of your audience. So my audience, it caters for people in the early to late 20s because that's my age group. And sometimes it does cater for people in the 30s too, you know, but mostly it caters for people in that age group because that's the age group that I'm in. And I share the experiences that I go through with you guys on the channel so i can like relate to you guys more i can't like relate to someone that's in their 40s i can't really relate to people in the high school because i talk about how to land a job how to conduct yourself in an interview how which websites to apply for when looking for a job people in 18 years they're not looking for a job they just want to be cool in high school and people in their 40s 50s they're not thinking about oh Philip, how do i conduct myself in an interview because now the job market is not really looking for them so that's what i focus on my channel on so you need to be relevant with your audience step number two retention rate oh. all right guys so retention what is retention i didn't know this until a couple of months ago, uh, last year. Basically, retention is how long can you keep your audience watching your videos, right? Because if you just sit like this for the whole duration of your video, like people are gonna get bored unless you're a prolific storyteller. So if you're like a vlogger like me, right? It's not a great idea to like stick in one uh, place and one area and just talk, 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 talk. Like you need to make sure that your audience is always captivated, right? You need to change background, you need to change this and that. Unless, I, as I said, you're a prolific storyteller, right? So with me, my storytelling skills are not the best, 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 right? But I make sure that I intrigue the audience. I make sure that, okay, I need to think about where am I going to take my next shot, right? So that you guys can be captivated, right? So you can also add cool your sound effects, right? I could be like, you know what? I need to address the elephant. 
in the room those kind of like shots because now it'll keep the audience intrigued like right? if the audience is not intrigued it basically means that maybe they're not suited for you uh for for your videos because like youtube does um suggest your videos to like literally everyone right so yeah you need to make sure that you think about your retention also what i like doing right i like using b-roll so this is what b-roll is b-roll is basically if i'm like sitting here talking 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 i can like show you different you know scenarios that relate to what i'm saying on the b-roll so yeah basically if you want to like if you're going to be sitting and just talking direct uh, directly to the camera for uh, like a long time you need to make sure that at least at exciting things like b-roll works with me if i'm just going to be sitting and just talking the third and final tip is time management so guys what i've learned is that your videos can be so long because of people's attention span you know like apps like tiktok instagram reels now those things are like dominating right short uh form videos are dominating and I think YouTube also knows this, so that's why they're trying to promote shorts, and that's why this week I'm gonna be uploading my first short. Anyway, yeah, so these short format videos are dominating. So if your video is like 20 minutes long, like of course, like your your audience probably might not watch the entirety of the video until unless they really, really, really like your content. So what I do is I try to keep everything short, right? between five to ten minutes long my videos like before my videos are super long but now I just try to keep them short and if you want to cover something that's like of a large scale you can have a part two like this like this um video right here i'm gonna have a part two of this later on uh in the uh, on the year but yeah guys try to keep your videos short and just like that guys i'm wrapping up the video right here this is the end of part one i am gonna have a part two later on probably like sometime in march or april but yeah i hope you enjoyed this week's upload if you did please give it a thumbs up oh it's been raining i have to hurry up and if you're new here welcome why don't you click subscribe turn on the notification bell because i do drop a new whoa <laughs> i do drop a new video literally every single sunday and you don't want to miss it i'll catch all of y'all in the next upload peace